Right, hi guys, this is Adam Koo here and I've created a special video uh, which is titled How to Spot an Adam Koo Impersonator and How to Avoid Scams. Yes, it has come to this. Can you imagine, I've since I've started sharing my ideas uh, over a year ago, there have been so many people impersonating me online, on social media, on YouTube and, and there are poor people out there who are getting scammed off their money uh, thinking it is me. So I've created this video to tell you how to spot uh, an impersonator and how do you avoid getting scammed, right? So just to share with you what I have to go through. Uh, as you know, people paste, or people post comments on my YouTube page, on my Facebook page, and quite a number of them are who are replying, they are impersonating me. They're they not me, right? And what I have to do is I do my best every day to uh, delete these uh, comments by these imposters, and there are many of them out there, but I can't possibly delete all of them in time. So some of my you know, viewers may think it's me uh, and you know, they fall for these scams. So let me share with you this example, right? So on any given day, I've got these bloody clowns who are posting their comments over here, right? So it says, you know, Adam Koo, thanks, email me directly, you know, get back to me and all those things. So, you know, how do you spot an impersonator? Uh, here are a few tips. Number one, I will never use an email address from a public domain. So if you see, uh, a Gmail account or Yahoo account that anyone can create, obviously it's not me. My emails will always come from my company website, which is uh, akltg.com or Piranha Profits, right? So AKLTG is Adam Cool Learning Technologies Group, Piranha Profits, these are my companies. So there's no way the scammers uh, can replicate that. Well, I hope not, okay, but they can easily create a fake account on Yahoo or Gmail so when you see an email from these public domains, please, it's, it's not me, it's, it's an impersonator, right? So this guy who's you know, posting as me, um, telling people to contact him, and this happens every single day. And this happens on other platforms as well. Um, some of my friends have told me, or some of my students have told me that Adam Koo contacted them via WhatsApp or via Facebook Messenger. So this guy, you know, created a screenshot and sent it to me and said, you know, uh, he says, uh, as a student, I always have the mindset I'm a, I must. I don't what the heck this is all about, right? So anyway, so this scam is getting him to sign up with this um, smartstockoptions.com uh, website, something like that, right? Uh, here's another one from Facebook Messenger. Uh, this guy who's again impersonating me. Hello, how's your trading going? Uh, send a mail to my personal broker. He will trade efficiently for you. Okay, so clue number two. I would never ever ask you to send money to me. I would never ask, tell you that hey, I'm going to trade for you. I've got a broker's going to trade for you. I don't believe that kind of stuff, right? I believe that you have to learn the skills to invest and trade your own money. So I'm here to educate you, to share with you techniques and strategies, and you can enroll in my programs on my official websites. But I'll never ask you to send me money to to manage the money for you, right? So you know, I only manage family money or you know, close friends or you know, there are people out there. Uh, who I'm really close to, I do manage money for them, but I do not do that for the general public. All right, so I'll never ask you to send send me money. Here's another one. Um, I think this is on uh, one of the social media platforms as well. And again, a screenshot and sent to me by you know a student, and he said, "Here is what I will do for you, Roland." And this guy, his name is Adams. Okay, by the way, clue number two. My name is not Adams. My name is Adam. Okay. <laughs> Here's what I will do for you. I'll recommend an interactive broker for you with the help of myself and other expert traders where you get to earn while learning simultaneously. Can you guide me how, right? You know, a lot of these scammers, they speak in, or they write in broken English, okay? I speak and write in Queen's English. So if the English is off, it's not me, okay? So my name, you know, if they misspell my name and, and stuff like that. So anyway, I decided to post as, uh, you know, I decided to create a fake account myself and to contact one of these Adam Koo scammers and I wanted to see what they were going to sell to me or what they are going to, you know, do for me, right? So what I did was, I thought, let's, let's just have some fun. So I went to Yahoo and I created a fake account uh, known as Brian May. Okay, over here, that's Brian May. Uh, and I started contacting this Adam Koo scammer. Now, obviously, he's not really bright or he doesn't know about pop culture because Brian May is the lead guitarist of Queen, one of my favorite bands, right? So apologies to Brian May. Uh, just thought I'd have some fun. Created this persona, Brian May, 
and another called Candy Low. So these are my fake personas to contact these scammers to find out how they would scam me, right? So um, since then, I've emailed this Adam Koo scammer and he's, he's replied me quite a bit. So I've wasted quite a bit of his time. I'm pretty proud of that. I wasted my time as well. But I want to find out how far they'd go. Okay, so yeah. So by the way, Brian is my persona. So this guy, Adam Koo here, I don't know who the fuck this guy is from where he is using my name. All right, again, adamkustock at gmail.com. When you see Gmail, Yahoo deleted. It's, it's not my account. So he says to me, um, Brian, thank you for watching my videos. I'm glad it has inspired you to have more trust in trade. Again, broken English. I speak Queen's English, mother. Okay, that's right. Regards to your investment capital, it's possible to grow that into one or two million dollars if your placements are all correct, blah, 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 blah. So he said, are you interested? So I replied and said, dear Mr. Adam, um, yes, I'm very interested. Please help me to grow my money into a few million dollars. I'll be so grateful. All right. So he says, good, Brian, do you want a long term or short term investment? Kindly update me. So I said, what are the returns you expect? Or what are the returns that you can offer me? And how much do you charge? And, and he says, um, well, you can get 7 to 12% return in three months or some bullshit like that. Uh, okay, so anyway, he tells me uh, to invest my money in this website, which is payfoxmining.com. It must be a scam website. Scam your money uh, to enable you to benefit from their automated secured withdrawal formation. So kindly sign up with them and get back to me as soon as possible. See, remember, scammers can only succeed if the people they are scamming are gullible, right? So don't be freaking gullible. Remember, in life, in, in business, in trading and in life, there's no free lunch in this world. No one is here to give you free money. If something is too good to be true, it's too good to be true, all right? To make money consistently in business, uh, in trading, it takes hard work, it takes skills, it takes knowledge. If people tell you that you can make money with no skills and no knowledge, it's a scam, it doesn't exist, all right? The other thing is all investments and trading involve risk. If someone tells you something is risk-free, it's a scam. The only thing that's risk-free is putting your money in the bank. All right, and some banks can go bust, by the way, but they're insured by the government anyway. All right, so just remember that there's no free lunch in this world, okay? Um, okay, what else? Okay, so anyway, so this guy continues, and um, so I asked him, I said, hey, uh, why are you asking me to sign up for a cryptocurrency website? You know, you're supposed to be trading stocks and forex. Why cryptocurrency? And he said, um, hello, Brian, I've training courses for stock, forex, and cryptocurrency. And basically what he's saying is that you can make the most money with cryptocurrency, right? You can grow your money to one to $2 million, blah, 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 right? Okay, here's a great part. So I asked him, um, are you the real Adam Koo? How do I know you are not a fake? Can you send me a picture of yourself to prove it? <laughs> and guess what that fucker did? He sent me all these pictures of myself which he got online. And he managed, I don't know how, to create a version of my driver's license over here. I think he spent quite a bit of time on Photoshop to create my driver's license, okay? Whatever. <laughs> anyway, if you really wanna find out if someone is who he, he or she says they are, tell them to send a picture of themselves with holding today's newspaper, right? Anyway, I didn't wanna do that because I knew you couldn't. I wanted to see how far you went. So he sent me pictures of me uh, in my life, right? Like as I'm a dumbass, okay? But you know what? The sad thing is there are, there are people who are dumb enough to be conned by, by these people because they're gullible. They are, they're out there for a free lunch, all right? Don't be out there for free lunch. So anyway, uh, so the conversation goes and eventually, you know, I say to him, um, okay, where did I say? Okay, so I said to him, I said, you know, hello, thank you for confirming you are really Adam Koo. Wing wing. By the way, I've got a good friend, Mr. Najib Razak, who would like to invest $50,000. I made up this guy, all right? Recently, he lost his job and his wife still wants him to buy a very expensive Birkin handbag, about $30,000. I'm convincing him to invest with you instead, 
Will I get a commission if I refer him to you? I've got more friends I can introduce as well, right? And he says, hello, Brian. Yes, your friend should make a wise decision by investing his savings and spend it and spend from profit payout. Again, broken English. If it's not Queen's English, it's not Adam Koo, right? English is my first and only language. I speak Queen's English, not broken English. Asshole. <laughs> he can actually buy that Birkin handbag for his wife from the profit he will earn in a very short time. Well, if this guy was smart, he'll know that Mr. Najib Razak was the ex-Prime Minister of Malaysia, right? And not a figment of my imagination. I'll give you 1.5% commission as referral bonus. So anyway, so I went on and on and on. And basically, I wanted to see how big his balls were. I said this. I said, hello, Adam. This, that's fantastic. Thank you for letting my friend and I invest in you. Now that I can trust you, I can tell you the truth. Actually, my father recently died and his fortune and his fortune is very huge, estimated $150 million. My father was one of the richest men in Australia. I have two other brothers, so my share of the inheritance is $50 million. I want you to help me manage this money personally. Because it is a big sum, I do not want to put it into a cryptocurrency and account in, in any other platform. I want you to help me manage this money yourself. I trust you enough that I'm willing to wire this money into your account and will pay you 35% of the profit if you can make it back for me. So, you know, I'm trying to scam that scammer bank and see if he's going to send me some money. So anyway, a bit of fun. So here's the point. When you meet these scammers online, if they contact you, you can do a few things. Number one, reply them and tell them to go screw themselves. Okay. Number two, report it to the platform. Report it to YouTube, report it to Facebook, get their account deleted. All right. And number three, uh, you can ask them to do something stupid or waste their time. Get them to send a picture of them with a newspaper on today's date and see what, you know, see how they respond. So anyway, so this is a public service message. Beware of impersonators out there, not just, you know, impersonating me, but other people who you may be learning from. All right, so stay safe, take care, and you know, I look forward to posting my next video soon. So remember, my official website is piranaprofits.com. Uh, where you can contact my team and I uh, with your questions or you'd like to find out more of our online programs or wealthacademyglobal.com where we run our live programs in Asia. So you can contact us through these official platforms uh, and to find out more about how we can help you to be financially successful. Thank you.